now i would like to tell you that what is a relation because after studying the sets empty sets null sets operations on sets venn diagram on sets de morgan's law the in the sequence of this next sub topic is that what is a relation so in order to understand a relation the very important part is that we must know what is the cross product of two sets if i take one set a having the element suppose 1 comma 2 comma 3 another set is b having the elements a comma b so if i ask you their cross product a cross b it will given by 1 2 3 3 cross a comma b then answer the elements will be of the type 1 comma a then 1 comma b 2 comma a then 2 comma b then 3 comma a and finally 3 comma b so there were three elements in set a and two elements in set b that is cardinal number of set a was 3 cardinal number of set b was 2 and total number of elements present in the cross product of a cross b is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 that is 3 to ja 6 so a cross b is nothing is just the calculation in the form of proper order of elements of the two sets after obtaining a cross b that is a 1 2 3 and b is a comma b we have obtained the elements in the form 1 a 1 b 2 a 2 b 3 a 3 b so elements are coming in the form of pairs these pairs are known as ordered pairs these are the ordered pairs so in order to understand the concept of relation we must aware about the cartesian cross product of two sets or set itself and what are the order pairs now after it i will tell you what are the types of relations required and how relation forms because if i take any subset of any cartesian cross product every subset obtained from the cartesian cross product of two sets or single set with itself is known as a relation so relation is a subset of what that is if there are two sets then the cross product of that if there is one set then cross product with itself so relation is the subset of elements present in the form of ordered pair that is obtained from the cross product of the sets now if i have a set a suppose elements are 1 2 3 and i say find a cross a so you will simply say that a cross a means 1 2 3 with cross itself 1 2 3 1 2 3 cross 1 2 3 it become 1 comma 1 then 1 comma 2 first 1 with 1 then 1 with 2 then with 1 3 1 3 then 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 next is 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 so a cross a is this set having how many elements 9 reason because in the set a there are three elements 1 2 3 1 a cross a means 1 2 3 cross 1 2 3 there are nine elements present in the form of order pair so what is the relation if i say i am taking any of the set that is any of the subset of a cross a that's mean any subset having few elements of a cross a like 1 1 say 2 comma 3 or you can say 3 comma 1 only three elements only two elements or only single elements 
or none of the element or the all elements of a cross a are taken then this is the this is the subset of a cross a so it needs to be very clear to one and all that if there is a set and we have obtained a cross a one two or more ordered pair subsets have been formed from this a cross a then any subset of cartesian product is known as the relation question come how many relations this has we know that each subset is the relation so how many subsets are possible because a cross a is having nine elements so total subsets possible are 2 is to power 9 hence in all there will be 2 is to power 9 relations can be obtained from a cross a if a is 1 2 3 so relation is a subset every subset of a cross a or a cross b or b cross b or b cross a is known as the relation so total number of relations formula is 2 is to power n square here n is 3 cardinal number is 3 so 3 square is what 9 so this become 2 is to power 9 will be the total number of subsets will obtained from a cross a so each subset is known as the relation so relation is the subset of any cartesian cross product